Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we're doing our houseplant care tutorials. This here is my um, Pothos Pearls and Jade. So it's a little bit smaller than a typical Pothos. Um, the leaves are like more condensed. They're a bit shorter, smaller leaves. Um, it looks pretty good. I haven't had it very long. It's kind of a newer one in my collection. I got it in the fall and uh, it's only got two leaves that need to come out. So we're going to first always just give any of those leaves a trim that need to come out. This is just yellowed a bit. And there was one on this side also just had yellowed a bit. So typically um, when you get these kind of plants, there's several cuttings in one little pot and that's the case here. I think there's one, two, three, four, maybe five or six of the, of the pothos cuttings are in this. That's what makes it look so full compared to having only one. Nothing is big enough that I could um, propagate so I'm not going to stick any cuttings. I am going to take a good look at the underside of the leaves and I do not see any pests or evidence of pests. They look good. This is a nice clean plant. Um, what I don't like though is I'm getting a bit of white mold on the soil so I'm going to change out this soil. It's pretty new so I'm not worried about leaching this just because I've just received it. Um, this looks pretty good. But I am going to just gently take off that soil on the top. It's not bad though. So you can see how the cuttings are all stuck together. You could divide them if you wanted to, but that's not what I'm doing today. Okay, so clean that off. Now I'm going to repot it back up. Just gonna give this pot a rinse. It never hurts to wash your pots out. Okay, so just put a little bit of soil in here. I have just some potting mix right here beside me that I pulled up from the greenhouses. Okay, so I got it back in here. I'm just going to fill this back in with soil. Sometimes when these plants come from suppliers, they have a different source of soil and it um, sometimes it's so dry it won't absorb water. Sometimes it's so, so full of moisture that the pots don't ever seem to dry out. Not seen the case in this one. So I just wanna have like a nice porous mix where there's some air um, in the roots as well. Okay, so I'm happy with that, really happy with that. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to Wipe the leaves, they're slightly dusty, put some leaf shine on them and give us some fertilizer. Okay, so a few people were asking about our leaf shine. Um, it's these bottles here with a dropper and I'm just gonna put a few dropper folds on this cloth. The cloth is already dampened. There we go. It's hard to do it while filming. So just a gentle wipe gets the dust off. And if it's a little bit glossy, it kind of prevents dust from settling. Keeps it cleaner longer is what I'm trying to say. We want these leaves to photosynthesize. Pothos in particular do not like bright sunlight. They definitely want to be in um, a spot that light isn't touching their leaves. So don't put them in a south facing window or even east facing. Put them a little back, back from the window a bit. I have a pothos in my bedroom doing fantastic with north windows there and west, but the light is filtered. And then this one lives on my countertop. So already looks great, just nice and glossy. And now I'm going to spray our foliar fertilizer on it. So the fertilizer we use is the Nature Source plant food. And I have got two tablespoons um, mixed in with water here. This is just my, my spritzer and I'm going to just spray these leaves. Plants can absorb um, plant food through the leaves as well as through the roots. This is like an extra nutrition boost. It's like giving them vitamins. And then we're gonna go ahead and just drop it 
into our ceramic pot. So I recycled this from a different project. There's no drain holes in this. So you wanna make sure that your, your plants are in a pot that has drain holes, and then you just set it in a decorative pot like that. So it looks cute in the house. Um, and then when you water it, it's not going to spill everywhere, but having this in the drain hole is really good or having it in a pot with drain holes is really good. And if I need to leach it, leaching is flushing water through all the soil to get excess salt built up out, then I have the ability to do that. So I already have some pre-mixed fertilizer. This is just um, a cap full of our nature source in our little watering can. And this fertilizer is good for all your indoor or outdoor plants. There we go. I give it a good drink. It should be good for up to two weeks, I'm thinking. So there we have it, one more done. This is our Pothos Pearls and Jade. So it is a smaller type of Pothos, but I really do like it. Thanks guys.